Athletes, stop doing this if you're trying to get faster. In this video, we're gonna talk about the top three mistakes athletes make when trying to improve their speed. Mistake number one, athletes try to make speed training sport specific. Speed training and skills training are two different things and they need to be trained separately. Okay, there's a time and a place for both and they're both super important. But I constantly get parents and athletes coming into our facility, which is specifically for speed and agility, asking, when can I bring a ball? When can I bring a glove? And the reality of it is, is when you're focusing on speed and agility training, do exactly that. Focus on being as powerful, as explosive, and as fast as possible. Work on all the things you can to be the best athlete that you can be, and then allow that, allow your improvements in the training facility to carry over onto the field and apply into your sport-specific training. Speed training and sport-specific training are two different things. Stop trying to combine them. Mistake number two for athletes is putting too much focus in the weight room. The weight room is a supplement. That doesn't mean it's not important. The weight room is extremely important to build your strength. But too often I find athletes are so focused on improving their back squat by 10, 20, 30 pounds over a six week period. If it's not translating to the field, I don't care about it. If your back squat goes up 20 pounds, but you're a step slower on the field, I'm not excited for you. The weight room is to make you faster and more explosive in your sport. If it doesn't translate to the field, to the court, to the diamond, wherever and whatever sport you play, doesn't matter. And mistake number three that athletes make is they confuse conditioning for speed work. Stop rushing your speed and agility workouts. The only way you get faster is if you're able to push at maximum velocity 90% or above. That's max velocity, okay? So if you go and you run and you sprint a 40 yard dash and then you jog back, you're huffing and puffing and then you go sprint another 40 yard dash and that rep is only at 60, 70, 75, even 80%, that's conditioning. Now you're working on your aerobic capacity, which is great, but it's not speed work. Speed work is 100%. Let's rest, let's recover, let's allow ourselves to be able to push again at 90% effort. Some of us that might take less time, some of us that might take more time, but at the end of the day, getting high quality full speed reps is the most important thing you can do when you're trying to get faster.